Economic community of West African states, a year a be be mine, a one um, and Kabumko, a shemu, a coso, a war, Niger, the Atoso, a dunum, and so fifty seven, no, a idea. Were you now at a dunk, a kufu, a do Ganaman, Penisa, or no, and a enya gemseni, a year echo as womu, a gemseni, a manu, and I'm so, I'm a ne, a nije, a bapa, and I'm so, I'm an another dunk, a kufado, and so, what just said the breath of free atum, and the atuja, so, but she is a pomu, so de, I'm a sudian, a sadi, a danoso, a was. Sai dwuma dia ni mu na mpo sai dibe ni mu no watumi aye ameho ate Ghana is humbled and honored by the decision of the authority of heads of state and government of the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, to elect me by unanimous vote as chairperson of ECOWAS for the next term of one year. I thank your excellencies for this extraordinary privilege, which puts me in the same shoes as my predecessors as presidents of the Republic of Ghana. Specifically, Their Excellences Jerry John Rawlins, John Ajikum Kufour, and John Dramani Mahama, who have enjoyed in times past a similar privilege. I'm aware of the enormity of the task ahead, and I assure you that I'll do my utmost not to let the side down and discharge my duties to the very best of my abilities. I congratulate the outgoing chairperson, the President of the Republic of Niger, His Excellency Mohamedou Isifu, for his distinguished stewardship of ECOWAS during these trying times, which by common consent has been a most successful tenure. <laughs> Excellencies, Five immediate challenges face our regional organization. Firstly, the continuing activities of terrorists in our region, concentrated for the time being in the Sahelian area, involving Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, and the northern parts of Nigeria. They seek an opportunity to extend their range southwards to the coastal states of the community. The activities of these terrorists form the backdrop to the recent coup in Mali. Secondly, the COVID-19 pandemic, which has attacked the populations and economies of each one of our states. It calls for concerted action on our part to defeat it, including our maximum support to the ECOWAS COVID-19 champion, His Excellency Mohamedou Buhari, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thirdly, the imminent coming into force of the African Continental Free Trade Area on 1st January 2021, whose Secretariat is located in our region, in Ghana's capital, Accra. The economies of ECOWAS should be prepared to take full advantage of this seminal development in the life of our continent and indeed provide the leadership that will enable the AFCFTA to succeed. Fourthly, the 2020 decision on monetary union within our ECOA space. And